What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is the Chig coming at you with another World of Warcraft leveling guide. This time I'm going to be talking about the build I'm going to be using while leveling in the second phase of Season of Discovery. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification icon so you get notified every time I come out with a new video. Anyway, so what I have on the screen over here is what I am going to start with. I'm going to have eight points in combat. I'm going to have eight points in subtlety. I'm going to have the three points in improved gouge, two points in lightning reflexes, and three in improved backstab. If you guys have not heard, it has been handed through the grapevine that mutilate is only going to cost 40 energy, which is insane. You guys already know I'm a dagger enjoyer. You guys already know that I love mutilate. So we are going to be taking full advantage of that. So we've got our eight points in combat. We've got our five points in opportunity. Increases the damage dealt when striking from behind with your backstab, garrote, or ambush abilities. Everything for backstab also applies to garrote. So we got 30% increased, or not garrote, mutilate. I'm sorry, 30% increased to mutilate damage. Uh, critical strike chance and 20% increased damage on mutilate and then we're going to be putting points into camouflage three points here just because I love this and I'm going to be pvping a lot so as I level up I'm going to be putting more points into camouflage then I'm going to put two points into elusiveness and then I'm going to be putting three points into initiative and the reason being is at level 26 you get cheap shot, so I actually may put the points in here first, but you get an extra combo point 75% of the time when you use cheap shot. So, since we're going to be using cheap shot and mutilate is going to cost 40 energy, there is a chance when the stars align that you cheap shot, get three combo points, mutilate, get two combo points in your first energy bar. So your first two globals are going to give you five combo points, which is going to be insane. So down here on the legs, I have Invenom at the moment. We'll talk about that in a second after I talk about how I'm going to finish leveling up here. After that, I'm going to put three points in improved sap because being able to go back into stealth after sapping is going to be incredible. So you have a couple of different choices here. Once you get to that point, you can put some points in improved ambush. If you'd rather ambush out of stealth than cheap shot, which isn't going to happen very often. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put those two points in the master of deception. And that's just get a little more effective stealth. It's fine. Then I'm going to put one point into preparation, two points into dirty deeds. Now I'm 40. All right. So the reason I'm putting two points into Dirty Deeds is it reduces the energy cost of your Cheap Shot and Garot by 20. So, our Cheap Shot is going to cost 40. Our Mutilate is going to cost 40. Our First Tick is going to give us 40, or going to give us 20, putting us back up to 40. So, we're going to be able to Cheap Shot, Mutilate, and then if we have co five combo points, we are going to be able to immediately, as soon as we get that Tick, be able to use a finisher which is going to be incredible so my two pennies do this level of daggers pvp like mad that's what i'm going to be doing it is going to be crazy fun it's going to be doing all the things down in stranglethorn i'm not even going to go to stranglethorn until a little later than most people normally would i think because i have a couple of things i want to do first but I cannot wait to be level 30, get down there and start doing that. Anyway, let's hop into the runes. We don't think we're going to get the head rune. If we do get the head rune, combat potency. Because you have a 20% chance to gain 15 energy every time you deal melee damage with your offhand weapon. So, every time you auto attack and every time you mutilate, you have a 20% chance to gain some energy, which is awesome. Um, all three of those are going to be awesome if we get them, but I don't think we're going to. So, with your chest, Deadly Brew. And I think this is going to be the best way to go. And the reason I think this is going to be the best way to go is because what else are you going to use? Like you can use quick draw, but we're going to be able to keep people slowed really easily anyway. Um, slaughter from the shadows is not going to do us any good. So I'm thinking deadly brew all the way because we are going to be having 
you know everything is going to scale with our attack power for our poisons right so this is going to be really good plus i want to use venom, and i'll tell you why when we get over there mutilate because mutilate especially if it's going to cost 40 energy like i was very seriously considering playing a different class until i heard that this is going to be dropped to 40 energy this being 40 energy is such a huge deal like you have no idea how big of a deal that is um so that's the plan. We're going to mutilate, mutilate, mutilate. If Shadow Step is on the waste, which we think it is, that's what I'm going to put on my waste. Because Shadow Step is going to be amazing. Shadow Step Cheap Shot, Shadow Step Ambush, Shadow Step Mutilate, Shadow Step whatever you need to do. However, Shuriken Toss is going to be incredible for tanking. And Poison Knife is also going to be super good because it's a ranged shiv. And it even reduces the um, cost by using um improved sinister strike because it says it benefits from all the talents and effects that trigger or modify sinister strike which is amazing so in venom i want to use in venom because two reasons one you get kidney shot at level 30 which you have kidney shot so kidney shot is going to be amazing kidney shot and between the eyes are going to share a cooldown all right cooldown shared with kidney shot so you can use between the eyes if you want to. However, I'm thinking the best way to play this is going to be putting waylay on your feet because waylay will be slowing down your enemies because of mutilate because waylay says your ambush and backstab unbalance your target, increasing the time between their melee attacks by 10 and reducing their movement speed by 50% for eight seconds. So, they're always going to be 50% slowed, so you don't need to have your crippling poison applied. What that is going to allow us to do is to be able to use our ability to not use poisons with deadly brew to be getting instant poison and deadly poison. So we're going to be using Wele for our slow. We're going to be using deadly brew for the instant poison and deadly poison. And we're going to be using Venom because Venom is nature damage it is not physical damage so that's what we're going to be doing now once you go into nomergon and there's things in there that are um, immune to the nature damage obviously you're going to want to switch that over to something else you're going to want to make sure that you're using your eviscerates instead of your venoms there's going to be a couple of different things i also don't think this is going to be the way you're going to go for anything other than pvp i think this is going to be an incredible leveling and pvp build if you're in a world pvp server but if you are not on a world pvp server if you are on a pve server i think going seal fate so going all the way down here and making it where you are going to be getting the seal fate talent and getting vigor is going to be the way to go you're going to be able to get all of the combo points because if seal fate works with mutilate the same way as it does you know moving forward in the game and each daggers crit gives you an extra point of uh an extra combo point that's gonna be incredible so the thing here too is you also need to be able to get improved backstab so you might not go that far down what you might do is Go up here and do some other things. I might make another video about that if somebody asked me to. But for the most part, this is how I'm going to level. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I think is going to be fun. And I think Mutilate is going to be the absolute bee's knees. Um, there's also some other ideas I have for Hemorrhage. If you guys want to see that, just leave that down in the comments and we'll talk about that too. But as of right now, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm excited about. Hopefully I see you guys in Azeroth and I will catch you guys in the next one.